Edison, Computex students and parents. Mr. Ward, honorable dignitaries. Let's put things in <laughs> Let's put things in perspective. <laughs> our generation is the first where 47% of us can text with our eyes closed. We communicate digitally and use computers daily. It is common to make videos, take pictures, and surf the internet. Our parents, on the other hand, we teach them how to use their cell phones and computers. It was our parents' generation that was in disbelief when they were told that by this century, every household would have a computer. We can get full meals in seconds. Vending machines are, vending machines are everywhere. Drive up, drive through. We don't have to plan anything ahead of time. We just, we just text and we decide. It is said now that our generation has more technological distractions than generations past. The video games, we, PSP, DS, computer, TV, TiVo, DVR, it's all gotten in the way. So it is said. <laughs> so let's hear from the voices of the past who were the great dreamers who made history. They changed the world with their hopes, dreams, and ideas within their speeches and writings. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. That, among, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these our life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> These memorable and timeless words were written by our founding fathers in the Declaration of Independence. The youth of today must embrace this truth and remember that with these rights comes responsibilities. With technology comes responsibility. We're the first generation who can reach the outside world from our classes. We can Google, Facebook, go on YouTube, check our email from our phones while in class. <laughs> Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King's dreams continue to be fulfilled. Our generation is the first to see an African American president. When President Lincoln and Martin Luther King gave their famous speeches, the country was split over issues of racism and equality. It is our generation that sees the least discrimination in our country ever. Though discrimination still exists, we are judged less by the color of our skin and more by the content of our character. But when we are judged by the content of our character, not by our race, won't our generation's character be stunted if we focus on the here and now? <laughs> Being entertained, the drive throughs instant gratification, instant messaging, and technology misuse. As we teach our parents how to work their cell phones, let us also take in their teaching and wisdom as we advance into high school. Let our generation not ask, how can we be entertained now? Or, what can technology do for us? But what can we do responsibly with technology?
Or, in the words of John F. Kennedy, ask not what you can do for your country. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> or, in the words of John F. Kennedy, ask not what your country can do for you, but what can you do for your country. In doing for our country, let us remember what we learned in our classrooms. Continue to dream. Continue with higher education. Learn to communicate effectively. And then use that to walk into our destiny. One final quote from a great man we all know. Stay anchored in excellence. And the character for the month of June is fairness. Express gratitude. <laughs> Let's all please take this opportunity to thank our parents, grandparents, and anyone else who helped us get this far. In conclusion, putting things in the perspective, let us not be known as the generation who could only communicate by abbreviations and texting. Yes. But let us be known as the generation that walks in our destiny, <laughs> that embraces the freedoms endowed by our creator and guaranteed in this country, that continues to fulfill the, I that continues to fulfill the ideals, dreams, and hopes conceived by the great communicators and idealists, such as Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King, our principal, Mr. Ward. Si se puede! Si se puede! Si se puede! Si se puede! Si se puede!